All right, thanks for tuning to this week's video. So as the teaser showed you, we're going to concentrate on the station screen, and we're going to concentrate on having the auto loader set up. Now, you can use this at your station. You can use this on any computer that you want to have IM responding on. So just go ahead, stick around, and we'll watch, and we'll have this set up so that way anytime that computer is turned off, as soon as it's turned back on, or for a Windows update restart, it'll auto load, auto res IM responding every time. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Okay, so let me just tell you exactly what we're doing today. A lot of times we have an old PC, it's a basic uh, PC, usually an older one that's been replaced, that we use for IM responding in the station. Our station we use, one that's a few years old, it still does a job because really IM responding is nothing more than a quote unquote website that has to run. It's not a heavy duty program that demands a lot of power. So. Oftentimes, you have Windows doing updates. What happens is, is when Windows completes its updates automatically, it restarts the computer. Now, when it restarts the computer, IRM responding doesn't launch, which means this can happen any time of the day when you're not around. When you come into the station expecting to see a screen with your IRM responding on it, well, it's just not there. You just have the desktop background. So that's what we're trying to combat. This does for PC, Unfortunately, if you're using a smart TV for IRM responding, it's not going to work in that case. My suggestion to you would be perhaps to get a, a UPS, an uninterrupted power supply, especially if you have a generator the station, because it's not going to draw too much power to keep that running for a few seconds or a few minutes till your generator kicks in. So we've logged in, and this is our login screen or our main screen in IRM responding. It's a screen you see all the time. So instead of going to system administration or anything like that, we're actually going to go to the help section. Now this help section has all kinds of great information in it. They work very hard at uh, putting this information in. And they have how-to things uh, with uh, recent updates, best practices, um, help files, that kind of stuff in here. Now. I've never really perused too much in there. I'm very much a person that likes to go and learn uh, by doing versus learn by reading. I'm the type of guy that throws instructions out. Anyways, nevertheless, enough of that. Um, so I got a phone call one day from a friend of mine that says, have you actually gone down and looked at the very bottom of the help menu? I feel I know why I'm responding pretty well. Uh, I've been working with it for a few years now. But he gets me to turn it on, and if you scroll way to the bottom, Way, 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 to the bottom. There's this section that says IAR Auto Login Application. This downloads a tool to set up auto login. That's what you want to do. It's going to bring you to this screen. And it is. it does have some requirements on it. So you kind of got to make sure that You've got that uh, available on your computer. Generally, most computers have that. And again, in order to install this, you may have to have admin or the ability to install programs on your computer. Some departments may have some network or some policies in place where their users are not able to install this. Um, most times with an IM responding computer, it's not a user-based computer. It's kind of just shoved up in the corner. You may have to work with your IT guys. So just simply click the install button What's going to happen is it's going to download your uh, file right here and just click setup.exe to launch the setup file, the executable. And you'll have to hit install. When it lets me hit install. There we go. So what it's doing now is it's downloading the launcher application. And it's going to bring you to a login screen. So just like your login screen on the main screen, you'll have to put your information in here.
and make sure you choose what default browser you're going to be using. Myself, I prefer using Google Chrome and the only reason I prefer to use Google Chrome for IM responding is because Google Maps is embedded in IM responding and of course if you use the same product it's no different than if you have an iPad or uh, it's better to have an iPhone versus an Android phone. They kind of just mesh together better. So pick your, your default browser that you want to use. Again, I prefer Chrome. So make sure you check this. So on, auto launch, I am responding when Windows starts is on. Click launch application. And it will actually do a test launch. It does take a second. The reasoning behind that is when you have I am responding loading on startup, it wants to allow Windows to fully start before it actually opens up Chrome. You want your startup sequence completed. So let's go ahead and I want to show you how it looks when you actually hit restart on the computer screen at the station. It's really just that simple. All right, so let's go ahead and hit restart on this computer and watch things happen. Just like any Windows update or power outage, if you've got to turn the computer back on, the simpler, the better for any firefighter that has to go and turn this back on. If it's an auto script, it's even better for the members of the station. So now anytime you have a Windows update and your computer restarts, There we go, there's a little bit of lighting. It'll launch your computer. This is a dedicated PC that we use. It's not much, but it's enough to make things work. It does take a second. However, I am responding the launcher application just wants to ensure that the startup sequence is complete. And bam, there you go. No user inputs. Automatically launches. I am responding. No user inputs at all. So I hope this helps and I hope that you guys take something from this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends your department members, or your system administrator. If you'd like to try out I Am Responding, it is 60 days for free. Your department can trial it out. Give me a holler and I can give you information on that. Thanks again. It's Daniel. Peace out.